How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Patty, and I don't even know if we got time for jokes today. Like, we, we got to talk about a bunch of stuff with this patch. Um, so they um, d didn't mention a lot of these things and snuck a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is, again, like, Fighters patch was definitely the best patch before this just because of, you know, getting Fighters and Blitzkrieg at the same time. They not only are doing this again, but they're adding even more stuff. Um, so this is a big reason why you should be following them on Facebook and Discord. Also talking about Discord, your boy's got a Discord. Uh, you should check the description down below and uh, and jump in there. <sighs> and then, uh, yeah, let's let's go ahead and just talk about this because... Boy, these some patch notes. <laughs> also, I feel like we've been covering patch notes for the last week straight, and I apologize for that. I swear to God, we're going to be doing some more guides here soon. <laughs> but uh, let's go ahead and get into this. So first little bit is the same thing that we see every time that they're doing an update. It's from 7 a.m. Uh, 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. UTC time. Um, log out before the patch is about to happen and everything to make sure that you don't lose anything in that period. Um, and then things are supposed to come back up, you know, 10 a.m. UTC time, uh, but they might not if it's not ready yet. So they always put that little, little spoiler in there. So let's go ahead and get to what we're actually getting. So we knew that we're getting the scythe class tomorrow, or we're going to call it the reaper class on this side. That's cool. That's, that doesn't have any, you know, silent seas. So I'm, I'm happy with reaper. We can just call it reaper from now on. Um, so we're getting reaper tomorrow. We knew that, um, Reaper is a mysterious magic class. The Reaper can travel through space, create real illusions, trigger extreme fears, and transform their heart energy into endless magic. Um, according to legend, their weapon Scythe seals the souls of their beloved, uh, which allows them to accompany each other forever. What a beautiful love story. <laughs> I love the quotations there. That's great. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, that's... That's that's a cool little bit of lore. Uh, getting a little bit of Itachi vibes there. <clears throat> I can't remember the name of all the eyes, guys. I'm sorry. It, it, it's been a very long time since Petty watched all of Naruto. It's been a long time. <laughs> but that's sweet. Um, they've also added some stuff to Club... Oh, oh, oh my God. We almost flew right over the whole thing that I was like, what? We're getting this too. Um, so I might have missed a previous announcement where they mentioned like, oh yeah, we're going to put tie to the gods in this. Um, if you don't know anything about this mode, uh, this BG is essentially like a MOBA. There's three lanes. Um, it's 36 players total. I'm pretty sure. So it's like, you know, 18 per team, um, which leads to there being about, you know, four to five people each lane, sometimes a little bit more. So <sighs> there's... Instead of a bunch of little NPCs that you're trying to fight and get to towers, each side has like a kind of boss NPC, um, at least in the middle lane. I'm not sure about the outer ones, but I'm assuming that they're working the same way, but I'll just put that disclaimer there in case I'm wrong. Um, but, you know, you essentially just try to kill the other player's guardian that's coming down that lane um, so that you guys push forward and destroy them towers. Um, the bosses, or yeah, we'll just call them bosses, throw them quotations around a little bit, um, have a bunch of, you know, AOE skills and everything like that. Um, so they're definitely something that you cannot just outright ignore. Uh, it looks like a super fun map. Um, unfortunately, I can't test it out on the CN side and give you guys a quick peek at that um, because it's only like 8 in the morning there, so it doesn't open up. Um, the times on it are a little weird. So Monday and Thursday, it's open um, from 1800 to 2300 um, time. And then 11 to 1800 uh, every Wednesday and Sunday. Um, please note that the original Day of Liberty and Snow Moon BGs will be closed when Tide of the Gods opens. Players can get first battle and cross battle uh, triumph rewards uh, through joining the new Tide of Battle, uh, new t Tide of God, Tide of the God, Tide of the God battlefield. Um, also, players can get other rewards like battlefield mark and battlefield emblems. So it's just standard for stuff that you get uh, for queuing for PvP and everything. But I just wanted to stress the times on them are a, a little weird, uh, which is. A little sad. I would almost wish that this was available all the time because from what I've seen of it, it looks like a super amazing mode. 
And I can't believe they were just like, we're slipping that in there. We're just going to sneak it on in. Okay. Okay, Dragon Raja. I see you. Your update game is strong. Strong. And um, just to hammer home and give you guys a good example of how we are definitely getting an accelerated release schedule on the global side versus what came out on CN. Uh, CN was around like a level 100 to level 105 um, when this stuff came out for them. And we're about 90 to 95 uh, for most players right now. So that's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're getting this stuff pretty quick. Uh, none of us can complain. <laughs> so shout out to them for just pushing out greatness. Y'all doing an amazing job with that. Uh, some of the littler stuff. Uh, attendant mode has been added to Club 95. Um, block booking players can send an atten attendant invitation to your friends and ask them to join the party as an attendant. The invitee can put on special attendant uniform and serve the party guests with some drinks. Uh, the attendant can receive some special gifts such as rainbow crystal once per week, magical candies twice a week, uh, while the guests who receive the drinks can also get some magical candies as reward once per week. Uh, come on and invite your friends to the party together. Yeah, invite them to the party, guys. Not to party, to, you know, work. Come come serve me drinks, bud. <laughs> and uh, they eventually, I don't know if this is the butler version. I know that there's a couple of things that they add to the CN side in terms of things that you can invite your friends to do in Club 95. Um, so this is just one of several future things that we'll be getting added to that, which is cool, which is cool. Um, some brand new gothic style furniture has been added. So congratulations, all you Sims players. Uh, Petty, Petty still hasn't built a house on the global side. I've got one on the CN side so, uh, that we, when we made that one video. But Petty ain't got time to keep up a house. Petty ain't time to clean his house. Petty ain't got time to clean things or fix things that break in his house. So it's just going to cost Petty a lot of money. And we, we, ain't, we ain't got it. We saving it. Um... <clears throat> More rewards are added under the Moon Realm um, and Chizuru, the Moon Realm, the chance of getting Shining Decipher uh, rubbing. Yeah, Shining Decipher rubbing from collecting Decipher stones has been increased. Okay, I see what they're saying. Um, in Tokyo Moon Realm, the rewards for collecting all Decipher stones has been increased. Also, you even have a chance to get some Dream Vouchers for it. Um, and that's, that's it as far as the Moon Realm but changes. Uh, shop partners system is now available. Go ahead and find a friend who owns a shop and run the shop together. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, you can choose to be one of the following partners, security partner, consumption partner, training partner, delicacy partner, or star partner. Be whoever you want and create your own era. That's, that's really cool. I, I like the shop system. I thought it was an interesting addition to the professions. I would also like to see them add something like a mechanic profession. Since we've got races, I feel like that would be pretty cool and you could do a lot with that um but i i find that that that's super interesting i like this more than the thing that you can do for your friends in club 95 this feels more involved and like it potentially takes some off the plate and everything um for the person running the shop which is cool uh they've modified the blitzkrieg event players who rank in the top 30 in the single player mode or rank top six in team mode can gain uh single xp rewards it's pretty solid uh, as far as housing stuff goes uh, garden mode has been added to the homestead system okay make sure that I wasn't blocking all of it um, <clears throat> you can now place uh, some garden furniture throughout edit feature and then garden um, and then gather some seeds and plant them in your garden please take care of your plants and make sure to water fertilize and kill bugs in time so now you guys can kill plants in real life with or sorry not real life now you guys can kill plants with neglect in Dragon Raja, just like in real life. There we go. That's the whole sentence we were going for. Um, also remember to collect them in time when they are mature or they might be stolen by others. Y'all. Who? Why, why, why can someone steal your flowers? <laughs> I feel like this is rife with being an issue. <laughs> but okay. Okay. Um, the homestead system is upgraded. Uh, now you can park your motors in your home. Man, it's almost like a mechanic profession is really starting to make a whole lot of sense. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> not only your motors, but also the motors of your friends. Also, parking motors can increase home coziness as well. Um, have you ever complained that why can't I place the floor tile outdoors? Now you can. 
Uh, you can place the four tiles wherever you want, indoors or outdoors. Nice. So I'd have an easier time making my gazebo now. Okay. Okay. I appreciate you. Um, now you can park your motors in your home, not only your motor. Wait, didn't we just read that one or did it just repeat itself again? Okay. Yeah, no, we have one, two, and then one again. Okay. So anybody's guess is what the third change was. If anyone can figure that one out and let the rest of us know, that'll be cool. <laughs> Fourth change is players who have cuisine career can now cook in your home. Uh, play some cooking furniture and make the dinner yourself. That's also really impressive. I like how much there. There's a lot of synergy kind of things being put in this uh, patch, which is that's that's super solid. I don't even like the housing stuff all that much. Like I get it's awesome, and I'm super happy for everyone that loves playing that aspect of the game. Um, <clears throat> um. I'm more of a Minecraft builder, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but these changes to the housing system, all of them are are pretty solid. And I'm impressed that we're getting all of them at once and not incrementally. This, I could see us getting like the first two things in one patch, the next two things, whatever the third one is, <laughs> in, the, in the one after. Um, so the fact that these are all being rolled out at once is, is, is pretty impressive. This is, this is a lot of stuff. Um, players who have a star career can now practice and show your talent at home. I like it. I like it. How's your housekeeper? Now you can dress your housekeeper with your activated outfits, hairstyles, or other accessories. Dress up once only costs a small amount of household funds. All right, we're going to drive right past that one because I'm just not making the jokes that come to mind on that one. Nope, nope. Going right down that street. Bye-bye. Um, <clears throat> again, just more with there being content in these patches this is wild uh new world event dragon luring uh the dragons are dangerous um and we better take the initiative gear department developed a dragon luring device that attracts dragon lords by releasing the fifth element solid movie um we students from castle college need to kill them now that's okay okay that's pretty dope um i need to do more of the world events myself because i already don't kill the world bosses like i should be um and then again with just more beefy stuff that they're just tossing in here uh new slots are added in gear and enhancement um to further strengthen the students battle ability the gear department has prepared two new slots uh for gear belt and bracelet um also two new slots for enhancement uh, the new gear slot also have its own gear set and drag small tip. Uh, you can still get the extra enhanced bonus and special effect when activating eight slots. No need to worry about activating all 10 slots. Okay. Okay. So that's even though they're adding more slots, they're not adding the requirements to um, getting that bonus, which is, which is awesome. Um, cause that, you know, if you were super, super close, them adding more stuff to gear enhancement, you know, now puts you another couple weeks away worth of upgrades. So that's, that's awesome that they're only requiring the original eight slots there. Well, well played, well played two new pieces of gear and two more slots on, uh, enhancement. All right. All right. Y'all just giving us that rating. I appreciate you. Um, fix some bugs and optimize the system uh, contents uh, for the event update mysterious elf box is available now uh, you can find it in the mall and have a chance to get some rare outfits and rare items new motor plan uh, EXO mecha is added in gotcha if that's the giant mech that I've seen running around on CN it is one of the coolest mounts in the game um, so rip to all of us because we're not getting it <laughs> life's hard man um new investment fund added uh for level 92 to 100 interesting i wonder if uh, investment at that point is giving you a reward at each individual level interesting interesting i'm here for it i'm here for it i was wondering how those packs started to translate once you got deeper into the game and you couldn't really do them by increments of 10 anymore but uh yeah that's 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 a beefy patch, y'all. <laughs> and I'm 
I'm not only impressed and surprised that they're putting this much stuff into a single patch. I'm impressed that they didn't heavily market how much was going to be in this patch because this is this is a beefy update. This is I'm I'm pretty floored by the number of things that they're putting in here. So Dragon Raja team, you're absolutely killing the game when it comes to the patches for global. The stuff that you guys are putting together um, for us is just wow. I, I cannot believe that this many things came out at once on the CN side. I have to believe that they're combining multiple patches and multiple iterations of patches to bring all of this to us. So go team, go team. Y'all are amazing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, we got, we got Scythe or Reaper. Sorry. I'm going to have to go back and change all my video titles. I'm just, I'm not, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. We'll just refer to it as Reaper from now on and it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, guys. Thank you so much. It's been your boy, Patty. Um, we'll get a PVP guide for Scythe out tomorrow. Um, I wanted to try and get that out before the class was live, but it'll be all right. We'll do what we can. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for stopping by. It's been your boy, Patty. You have to catch me on the next one because uh, we out of here. Deuces.